<clears throat> okay, YouTube, this is JL Chambers 82 It's been a while, guys. Uh, sorry about the lack of videos. But again, I'm, uh, you know, my living situation, I'm, it doesn't permit me to uh, post videos all the time. There is always somebody home. And I'm a little reluctant to do videos when everyone's home because, uh, you know, no one needs to hear me in here talking to myself. On the uh, TV, we have a, a downloadable game for PS3 and Xbox that I highly recommend. That's why I kind of posted a quick, you know, uh, shot of it here. It's Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, you know, there's an upcoming movie based on a comic strip uh, or a comic book. But uh, anyway, it's a really retro uh, style game. A lot of fun. Uh, Ten bucks. Pick it up, guys. Anyway, this video is going to be about game pickups and uh, some hardware pickup. Finally. Finally some new hardware. Uh, guys, this, is, uh, this video is uh, the mother load for me for a while. Uh, I can't really see picking up anything else for quite some time, uh, collection-wise or just new game-wise. I've got so much stuff. I mean, there's Final Fantasy XIII sitting over there, and i am still got 25 hours of that game left. You know, I'm playing so much stuff still. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. Some PS2 games. I uh, picked up Dark Cloud. And uh, this is the greatest hits, and it's packed resealed, so it's not rare or anything like that at all. But, um, you know, I did want it, uh, and that's after playing, you know, Dragon Quest. I just decided to go back and get some of these games that were... You know, after Dragon Quest VIII and then playing Dragon Quest IX on uh, DS, decided to go ahead and back and pick some of these games up that I should have owned or played. So, I um, haven't cracked it yet because I'm still playing Dragon Quest IX and, you know, Final Fantasy XIII. Like I said, I got those RPGs in the works still. But I'm definitely going to visit this series, and which is why, right behind that, I picked up Dark Cloud 2. Now, this one's not factory sealed, but it's in great shape. And this game looks amazing. I mean, as far as graphics-wise, uh, I don't really know of RPGs even on PS3. Uh, that really just blow this one away. I think this was really ahead of its time, and uh, uh, it's argued that it's among you know one of the best looking uh, games on PS2. And I love PS2 now, by the way, guys. It's totally my favorite system. Really pissed off that I missed so much of it, you know, that I just wasn't into games, you know. Played uh, just a handful, but uh, you know it's a cheap system to collect for, so I'm really stoked about that. Right behind that, Rogue Galaxy, and this is factory sealed. Again, it's not rare. Um, Happy Console Gamers mentioned this game before, you know, that he really liked it. Um, so uh, I'm really kind of uh, uh, excited about getting to try all these out. I know this is like, you know, hours. This is like, you know, weeks worth of playing right here, you know, just these three games. But, you know, one at a time. But I'm definitely going to be, these are priority, you know, this series. So I don't know, I might play Rogue Galaxy first just because I'm kind of, you know, jones for some sci fi after playing, uh, you know, the Dragon Quest games and everything. So. Uh, another quick PS2 game that I got, and this is kind of, un it's not unusual, but no one really talks about it, and that's The Thing. This is a sequel to the movie, which the John Carpenter's Thing is one of, The Thing is one of the, my favorite movies of all time. I and mean, the special effects to me to this day are still really, really gory and eerie and not, not at all laughable. The movie's really, really cool. If you've never seen it, check out the movie. Played about an hour of this. Uh, kind of plays like a Resident Evil style game, only, you know, yeah, not as exciting. Um, but it's still really cool. Uh, there's some really cool elements to it, but uh, it's a pretty good-looking game. It's pretty linear, but uh, other than that, you know, for the price I paid too, uh, kind of hunted it down, found it for ten bucks. Cool deal. All right, this is Jason's CD on it, and if you look, it's a copy of Halo Three. I was over at my mom's house the other day cleaning up some stuff uh, from my move, and what this was is like one of my old demos that I did back in the day. Uh, it's got song titles on the back of it, but this is the case for it anyway. Somehow they found a copy of Halo 3 out of the box and assumed it was mine. I have no idea who this could possibly be. I don't know one in the family that has it, so I don't know how they stumbled upon it, but uh, I got it now. And uh, what's really cool is I found a box and instruction manual online for two bucks with shipping. So basically I got a copy of Halo 3 for free, uh, you know, except for two bucks. If you guys hear that in the background, that's my bird, Pyro, if you remember him from videos of uh, yesteryear. He's wrecking shit in the background. Oh well. So anyway... On to my next pickup. We're going to go to hardware first. And guys, this is kind of an unboxing. I had to open up part of it so that you can, uh, you know, that I could do this with the camera. But just got this in today. Intel on the outside, so you can kind of guess what it is. And I went ahead and opened up part of it. There we go. We got some Alienware going on here. Now, I know you guys have different opinions about Alienware. I know some people absolutely hate it. But you know what? I've Frankenstein enough computers. I don't know that much about computers to try to build one from scratch. Um, you know, I've got friends that can do it, but, I, you know. Hold on one second, guys. Let me set this up. Just for a second. All right. And 
Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, I didn't want to bog anyone down with trying to build me a computer. People have better things to do. Plus, I don't want to buy the parts one at a time. I just want to get something out of the box that works. That's totally four games, and that's what I bought. And I didn't buy anything that fancy or anything. Um, the system I bought is very tiny. Let's see if I can get this out of here. It's only like an 11 inch. Uh, I've got a good deal on it. You know, the processor in it is an i7, and it's uh, got some you know killer RAM, pretty good graphics card. Get this foam off here. But I totally dig the design of this, man. It's tiny. It's not plugged in yet or anything. I haven't charged the battery. But when I do, uh, it glows blue. Or not blue, I'm sorry. Purple. I ordered purple, yeah. That's right. I know purple's like a girl color. Purple's my favorite color. Fuck it, it's what the Joker wore, right? But yeah, dude, this looks pretty fucking sweet. I'm not gonna lie. And it's got a good graphics card for a notebook. It's tiny. I can carry this everywhere with me. This is like my Super DS, basically, you know, so I've still got my uh, tower over there, you know, and that's, it's outdated, you know, it was a great PC back in the day, it's got tons of RAM, it's, but it's got a Pentium D, it's not even a true dual core, you know, so, uh, and I play, you know, on my TV, so, something totally ded dedicated to games, it's got Windows 7, and I ordered, I made sure they put no, absolutely no other software on it at all, I just wanted nothing but game software and some, you know, mild antivirus stuff, and that's it. No office software to bog it down, nothing. Totally for games. Uh, so it's kind of a luxury item in that sense. It serves no other purpose. This is not for business or school, completely for recreation. And uh, I got a great deal on it, just a little over a thousand bucks for the unit, uh, which Alienware can be very, very pricey, as everyone knows. So for to get you know one of the latest uh, chipsets out there, and you know again, I know from hardcore uh, uh, computer uh, gamers, they're gonna you know scoff at this and be like, oh, Alienware shit, it's overpriced, it's garbage, oh well, you know, it's going to work, I know from the moment I plug it in, I've got a year of support on it, so I'm really excited about it, and I can't wait to show you guys some stuff up and running, you know, that glowing purple and everything, but uh, that's it, guys, that is, that is my hardware purchase for a while, so I'll move that over there, I'm going to show some of the games I got for that, just a couple, oh, it came with uh, World of Warcraft loaded on, which I had before, uh, but I'm going to start playing again, which is cool. Uh, much higher resolution, and uh, you know I'll get it, I'll get to start all over and get the the free you know 60 day trial or whatever it is they gave me with it. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And anyway, right on here, Witcher Enhanced Edition picked up for 20 bucks because I don't own it on CD. I own it. I did a digital download, and I cannot upgrade it. So uh, it's wanting a CD code which it doesn't have for a digital download, and the company I bought it from won't send me any disc or anything. So 20 bucks. Got it. It's going to look great. Can't wait to play it all over again. Anyway, I kind of got stuck where I was, so lost my place. Happens a lot. And finally, StarCraft II. Uh, Retro Gamer 3 raved about this game and his review, and it was, it was uh, I mean, he, and he just talked about it, you know, so I'm really excited about this one, guys. I uh, can't wait to plug this in and play it. I got two guys at work that play it. Haven't played a good RTS in a while. Uh, last thing I really got into was um, Company of Heroes. And then finally just, uh, finally, just some peripherals for the notebook. I just bought this uh, gaming mouse here, Logitech Gaming Mouse G500. Uh, you know, it was it was uh, about 60 bucks. Uh, normally, like 69.99, they range from 49 to 70. I priced it online, but I was there, so I picked it up. But uh, yeah, there's a new Logitech out. It's 100 bucks, but you know, I don't care about weights or anything like that in the mouse. I just wanted a good wheel, something that's gonna you know be responsive and everything. So. Anyway, guys, that is it. This is my pickups for a while. Uh, this is its not a lot of stuff. It's just a lot of cool stuff as far as I'm concerned. So I have it, I've never owned a laptop, so this is a first. My first laptop is solely for gaming. So uh, it's not very big. Oh, check this out on the back. A little uh, customized nameplate there. It's got JL Chambers on it. I was a new 82, but, uh, you know, that's a YouTube thing. So... I didn't want to have to explain it to anyone else. I wasn't born in 82, so it really doesn't mean anything. So I just put JL Chambers on the bottom of it. But anyway, guys, back to uh, Scott Program. I'll be uh, posting up more videos when I can. Uh, things have been busy, you know, just with work and home situation. I actually have a girlfriend now, too, so I don't really get a lot of time for games. Um, maybe like an hour or two a week, so it's kind of shitty right now. But uh, she's pretty cool, you know, uh, likes nerd shit, too, to, for the most part, or tolerates it. So... Anyway, YouTube, stay cool. I'll see you guys around.